Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, back playing some TerraTech 0.7, the newest unstable build, and I'm in my playthrough here, this ain't my creative save, and I just took this guy out for a little fun and gun, so yeah, I got a new system for getting him back to base, I just crash him in here, and since he's over what seems to be enough of the, um, rock formation here the build beam actually will upright them won't really pick them up or nothing so that's a bonus and these wheels they do drive on here it seems because I shouldn't have any real uh, propeller help to move these along so that's a good sign I like that that's giving me some ideas but yeah I come back into the game today and I was gonna maybe well first of all what I did get done is I got these two turrets built up all and then I went around and I put laser targeting on all of them. I don't know if it really works yet or not, but I figure when it does start to work, I got it and it'll be cool. Like that poor fella way out there. But one thing I noticed, yeah, we need better detection for our AI. Wow, oh, that was all in one shot. He needed to be bigger. That's my only only belief on that one. So yeah, if we had better uh range capabilities so they could actually detect them from far enough away this would actually be useful or like really useful but for now it works good when I'm here but unless they get real close but this is only good for really I'm hoping that's far enough away where those blocks will despawn no matter my base being here or not because it is up so high then that way I won't lag out my game. So I'm not going to run down and collect them. That's just going to take too dang long. It'd be worth it. I'm just not really into it. I got quite a few blocks already. I'll just go sell some for now. <coughs> but anyway, what I've also been started doing is I pen this in a little better. So hopefully it won't fall through again. But see, I'm not really sure why if it fell off. Because I thought I had it penned in good, and where it landed was right down there. Right underneath where it's kind of sitting now, and that's kind of where I had it before. So I think it might have, like, fell through when it uh, respawned as I come closer. So I'm not too sure what if I'm going to really trust that, but I'm hoping. It works so far today, so I'm not going to complain. But another thing I started doing is I figured I'll put the skew right on the vehicle. Because then it's not actually active. Because these were bugging up. And I had three on the go at one point just because I was keeping them anchored with each vehicle. And they were getting all plugged up. So they'd get one stuck and there would be a big mound of them stuck around it. So I figured this is a little easier for it to do. It's still, it'll mess up if you get too many blocks on it going at it all at once but it's still nice to have this is just so I can always have the building option but I do always take one with me so I gotta make sure I got one of them for the road so I figure if I attach them well even if I forget that thing ain't gonna fly where the crap until uh, oh I don't have another one until I fix the situation gotta take that off and you know so it's a good like heads up for me sometimes I forget especially if it was on a bigger tech there's it, I could easily see myself do 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 gone why isn't it what where's my skew kind of thing why isn't it not there bang haha -ha, gotcha so yeah like for this one it's a little trickier because it doesn't really have any attach points left except for the bottom and I don't want to put it on the bottom So, maybe what I will do is I'll just use that one. Yeah, let's do that. I got one in my inventory in case this one gets blown up anyway. So I'm going to jump in this guy. And the first thing I got to do really is go make some money before I build anything. So I'm going to take this. Just in case I find anybody along the way. Because this vehicle is actually not too shabby for landings and all that. And it attacks nice. Oh yeah, my storage right there. Even better. 
Yeah, my steering's still inverted, but it's not too horrible. So as I'm landing this puppy in there, I would like to ask you that to keep in mind that if you do like this video or you find it helpful, that you please throw the like sir like down below. Oh, wrong way. Or subscribe to my channel so you can see the latest video I have to offer that hopefully you are interested in. Or even just jump down to the comments and say hello. You know, it'd be great to hear from you. I really do truly appreciate all the support I've got and hope to still come. It's been just great. Like, I don't know, it probably sounds like me repeating it if you watch enough of my videos, but there's a reason. Like, you guys have helped make this YouTube as much fun as it's been, and I, I don't know, I can only see it getting better. Let that charge up. First, I guess I gotta see if I got enough blocks worth even sitting here selling, eh? Usually I go right for these, the wheels. I only got two. These are worth, I think, like a thousand bucks or something, though. That'd be like 30,000 maybe. Yeah, 30,000. There's maybe 130. I don't really like selling them though. I use these for a lot of my land tax. But I can buy those and those are pretty fun. <laughs> my other missile tech, he's got them on him. Oh, I missed that. What was that worth? <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to fart around with this and I'm going to do a little bit of sales. Ooh, look at those guys. They're probably my first victims when I take off from here. I could probably sit on the ground and take them out. But yeah, if I do that, then I won't collect the blocks in time and they'll probably despawn. And they got the big wheels. These wheels here, they're, they're awesome for money right now. It's like, bang, pop one of those puppies in. Watch this. It's nice. Come on, you're getting 32 40. I've walked up to one of these with like, I think it was 70 or 80 of them, or maybe more, I don't know, I can't remember exactly. But I had this thing loaded, I surrounded it with all the scrap magnets, it was awesome. Big mountain of blocks. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to do a little bit of sales, and I'll be back in just a few minutes with a buttload more money, hopefully. Then we can maybe get into some building. Well, I started out going to make some money. Turns out I spent a bunch of money. I think I spent about a hundred grand since I've been here. And now I'm back to making money. But this is my little idea that I got. I'm almost thinking of calling this one change dish. <laughs> just because you put everything in it. And then just walk away. As long as it keeps selling I guess. But basically the idea is. Is trading station in the center. A big bowl to catch everything. You can just keep dumping stuff here. Because before, I think I had just over 250 blocks kind of floating around this thing. This time, I'm around that again. I'm just adding and adding and adding. And get rid of the stuff I don't use. Or I don't... I know I'm not going to use that much of, really. So I got some Geocore wheels. I got some Hawkeye wheels. I'm putting some Venture wheels in now. They're not really worth that much. But yeah, it does get slow. You gotta take your time clicking. But now, for anyone who's wondering how it's working, because you can't just drop things in infinitely on the trading station and that, I actually got some uh, scrap magnets down there. Just four of them. But, the whole idea keeps everything close enough and falling down to where it should be able to pick them up. Now this isn't done by any means. The whole inside needs to be covered in armor. But I gotta get some more uh, money first. Because I gotta buy a bunch of it. Because to find enough pieces to do that, that'd take forever. So I'm gonna go blow stuff up. Sell their bits. Ooh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> bits. But anyway. I'll get some money that way. And then I will finish armor in this puppy because I have started armor in it but so far what I got is I've been using the yellow on the outside because I did have a bunch of it I had to buy a few pieces to get it this far 
I still got, as you can see, two more sides to do. In this top row, I think that's going to be my only offensive line. I was thinking of putting drills and everything down here, which I may still do. May take that armor, armored bottom row off, two rows, and then run drills around it. But see, here's my issue why I didn't, because that. So I have to move it up a bit to about there. So I'm I'm going to cover it in armor and put my top line on. If that's not enough, well, sucks to be me. Maybe I'll make some turrets here too. Cause yeah, in the night. Well, I figured I'd do this because this is the one I'm going to come to the most. My base is right there. This one's this train station's like it. It could be more convenient if it was right next door to me, like right underneath my base. But it's not, so I figure I'll do a little bit of work for it because this one could actually be a good idea if we could just drop stuff ordered like our deliveries for our from the terminal if we could target them precisely enough to do this and drop it on in place that'd be great and I kinda thought how we could do that well they have to think of how we can manually uh, target them but there was an idea that me and uh, Trinun and uh, Vanover kind of were talking about on that TeamSpeak thing the chat program or spot and uh, that was like a beacon so if you had a beacon that you could set down to order stuff in and then when it comes to placing it all we'd really need is the outline of the exact footprint of the tech so any part that touches the ground or that takes up space so like if I had something that was a figure eight only an eight would show on the ground so now the problem there would be that if it had a hollow spot in the bottom where it was raised up and stuff like that so you'd have to do like outside perimeter you'd need any holes that pass through it to have a perimeter and then combine the two and then have that as your outline so you can see because this is actually a hole that I'd left right around the trading station because you can't build to it I'd be neat too if we could do that and then have it just as close as possible just so hopefully no small blocks get down in and jammed while when I get that far I've just been selling off the bigger stuff for now but yeah, as you can see a ton of little shields bunch of health regens uh, regen bubbles not enough batteries probably I didn't have that many and I was running out of money so bad while making it I had to keep bouncing back and forth selling and buying and selling and buying now I'm back to selling just so I can hopefully get back to buying <laughs> it's kind of a vicious circle so yeah, I'm just going to finish off selling, and I figured, you know, hey, it's kind of a good time to maybe show everybody. They can get an idea what I got going on, and that it's more bare-bones state, instead of having it all finished up, covered, and looking hopefully pretty. I don't know, it might still be a little fugly. But, it's going to be effective, like, it's been chugging along selling this stuff. I went through two batches, this is my third batch of stuff I've sold, but this is probably the most blocks I've had in it yeah but it's not even full and this thing will only get better when I get the armor on it because everything will just slide nice you won't see things up on the sides like that so I'm going to keep these little wheels I kind of like them as far as what I'm going to sell next I don't know I'm going to line the inside with a bunch of this I think just to give it a little change since I can't get no colored blocks give me my colored blocks back the payload studios that is <laughs> so yeah, I think it's just we can't find any enemies with them not enough people use them and any of the colored stuff that I've made so far it's kind of big and some of it don't even have weapons it was just to look cool and look nice so you know things to do maybe I'll start making some enemies with colored blocks start just ho like throwing them into the community core as much as possible Hmm, that is an idea. That would look pretty special. Well, maybe we'll get into that. But yeah, as far as what I would sell next, I'm almost thinking it'd be Geocore blocks. 
Holy crap, I got 500 of them. Because most of them are worth the mo like a lot. But man, that's going to take a long time. My goal is to kind of have, I don't know, roughly 300,000 before I go back to my base and build anything there. So I'm not too sure what I want to do. I might, i got to put some kind of defenses on this. I don't want these things getting destroyed. So what I'm probably going to do is make four of those turrets like I got at my other base, missile turrets. And maybe I'll put a couple extra megatons on there. Because I think I still have a fair chunk of weaponry. Got lots of drills. Maybe I should put drills around this thing instead of armor. Okay, so I got quite a bit of drills. Oh, I clicked the wrong damn thing. Should have clicked that side. 63 megatons, 308. So yeah, I should have lots to defend this thing pretty easily without spending. So it can just keep selling. So yeah, I'm going to probably... going to take a little break actually for a second and think about things and see what I want to do with this. So I'll be back and hopefully I'll have a plan and we'll get to some more building. Well, I ran out of money again, so I think I'm going to leave this a little bit of a build at this for now. And make some money back. Now, if you see, I got 507 of these blocks. So I'm going to dump a bunch of them in here. And see if I can make a bunch of money. Because I think they're worth about 600 apiece. So that's perfect timing for the phone, eh? <laughs> I love that. Oh, White's got it. Perfect. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can fill this right up, which shouldn't be too hard. And it should empty. It's done it three times now with various other blocks, combinations and everything. But I'm going to try just this. So I start at 507. And I'm just going to keep filling until I, I can't fill no more. So I'll be back in just a bit and I'll give you an idea how many I've run through this thing. Well, I think that's pretty good for now. They're starting to get hard to keep in there. I I dropped 200 blocks as you can see. And oh, 198 of them got in there. Or 197. Maybe. Any more? Nope, I think I got them all the rest. So that should work out pretty nice, I think. It'll just keep making me money. This thing better. It cost me a buttload. At one point I had 180,000. And I bought enough. And then I made more money. And I bought enough. I made more money. I bought some more. I made another 170,000. I bought some more. So this thing ain't going to be cheap. Not by any means. As far as saving a snapshot of it, I don't even know if it's worth it. I guess I could make it mobile. Put it up on stilts with some wheels and have it drive over a trading station. You could drop her down into place. That's kind of an idea, because in theory it should work no matter what. Huh. Maybe that is something to do, eh? But then I, I guess the solar gens won't work. So yeah, that kind of sucks just a wee bit. So yeah, it's not quite done. I still have some more angle blocks to put around there just to pretty it up, bring it right up to the edge. A few more batteries. I have the guns. I'm pretty sure I just didn't have the batteries. I ran out of money. And some shields. And yeah, just pretty much let her run. Fill it up once in a while, do my thing. As you can see, I got some marks on the radar there. I'm going to have to go take care of those sometime. Figure my little chopper will do good. And at some point, i got to get back to my missile tech that I parked over yonder. See if I can find that again. And then, uh, i got to fix it. Because I actually submitted it to the community core, and when they fired that thing, Jesus Christ, it tore itself apart. Blew itself all up, and the missiles were colliding wrong, and or colliding with itself instead of being fired so that sucked a little bit so yeah a few things I'd like to do 
hopefully in this episode if not I guess it'll have to be the next one so I'm gonna let this sell and I don't know when I think of something or something cool happens I'll make sure you see it well I got her all emptied out again and I was doing a bit of building right there there at the end and as you can notice I got some drills all around I got my shielding all done on the inside pretty much not sure if I'm gonna do anything up on this top edge I haven't really got that far yet. I ran out of stuff. Actually, yeah, I ran out of a cannon, too. I need one of them. And I guess I don't get one. I forgot to purchase it. Oh, need one of these. So, yeah, I'm going to get my cannon here. And I can say it's as done as it can be. And then I'm going to load her up because I spent a ton of money. See, I don't even have them. Oh, yeah, that's what. Down. Down. Those little pauses are really bothering me. Ah. Uh, Alright. Let's do it this way then. At least I'm ready to take off if I need to. Come on. Get on it. Alright, one cannon. One megaton. Oh, those suckers are pricey, eh? I'll just take this to go. Because it's going to go right in here. And if you notice, I got them all pointing into each other, both rows of guns. That way, if one shoots, they're not all going to shoot into each other, or down at the ground, and stuff like that. So yeah, once again, I'm going to load this up. The last time I put in 200 of these, and it gave me about 135,000, I think like that, somewhere in there. So what I'm going to try and do this time, is I'm going to see how many of those I got. I got 131, I could do 100 of them. So I'll keep some. So yeah, I'm going to load this puppy up, and then I'm going to head out and I think I'm gonna maybe return this one to base and just take a little tear apart tech over to get my missile tech because he needs a parking spot back here at repair not here but at the other at my base so I think this should be well defended enough where it can uh, defend itself and I'm hoping by the time I do all of that, I'll have 300,000 bucks or better, and I can build my parking spot for my missile tech. And that reminds me, i got to take some snapshots. So, while I'm doing that, or this, I would like to ask you that if you do did like uh, what you saw, that you please throw a like down below, or subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest videos I have to offer that you may be and hopefully will be interested in. Or just jump down into the comments and say, hey, how's it going? Or hello, or why'd you do that? Or, you know, suggestions, comments, let's keep them all cool. Try and have a good time here. So that right there is 100 of them. <coughs> Yeah, so that should be about 170,000, I think. Yeah, somewhere in there. So, I'm going to dump another 200 of these in. Because I do not need that many. Not as of yet. And I'm going to go around and do a bunch of bad ones soon. I've been just watching these guys on my radar. And yeah, they need to get shot. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough room to load this right up I might need more scrap magnets in there higher up but I didn't really want to get too much into it am I even adding blocks to the pile what's going on go where I want you to go ok so we'll go there and I got off target so yeah I'm going to load this up and I'll be back in a little bit with a, well, for me a little bit, for you whenever you feel like watching it with another episode. So until then, everybody, 
keep being awesome and keep having a good one bye so it turns out I got a hundred extra blocks in it seems like it's just getting real slow and hard to add them so that's a pretty good limit anyway I'll be a ton of money but one other thing why I did come back after the end here after my farewells and all that good stuff is I did forget to mention about the showcase edition kind of thread that I started up on the forum so if anyone seeing this has a tech that they think they would like a video made of it that's you know when you read the post you'll know what I mean there is kind of a few things I'm looking for when it comes to the showcase text so Go and check out the post, and if you're interested, throw a tech on there, and I'll see if I can make a video for it, and hopefully show it off to its fullest potential. If there is any special instructions, you know, please throw them with it. And of course, a snapshot. If it's a multi-tech, make sure you throw a save game at me. That way I don't have to spend hours trying to put it together or figure out how to put it together. And I'll more than happily do my best to make that video for you. So I just wanted to throw that in there. I I'm trying to work it into my my videos, but I keep forgetting about it. So hopefully you guys don't forget about it. Throw a tech at me, and I'll see what I can do with it. So until next time, everybody, have a good one. Bye again. <laughs>